good morning students today we are going to start chapter 16 data handling okay so uh, first of all you should know what do you mean by data data is a collection of facts or information and here in this chapter we will be learning how to arrange data okay so let's start exercise 16.1 question number one rajat played the following game in the class he gave a ball to each student and asked him to toss the ball into the air and clap his hands each student counted the number of times he clapped his hands before catching the ball this information is given here see here First time two claps, second time two claps, third time one clap, fourth fourth time five claps, like this. So using tally system, represent the above information in tabular form and then draw its pictograph. Okay, using one, this is a symbol for one clap. Okay, so we will be using the above information to make a tally system. Okay, so let's start. So here we'll write tally marks. And we'll give a heading to this. So we are giving the heading as clap and count. Okay, claps in first column, we'll add claps, here tally marks, here number of claps, okay, now we'll look at this data and make tally marks, okay. How many one claps are there? One, two, three, four, five. So right. One will make a tally mark. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So here we will write five. Clear? Now, how many two claps are there? How many two claps are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 6 clear now right 6 here okay now how many three claps are there 1 2 3 Three claps are three only. One, two, three. So right, three here. Four claps. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So right, four claps. One, two, three, four, five, and one, six. Right, six here. Five claps. One, two. Three, five claps are three. So five, one, two, three, three. Okay, so this is the tally mark we have done. Now using the same data, using the same data, we'll draw a pictograph. Okay, we'll draw a pictograph. So let's make a table. Let's make a table. Here also we'll give a heading. Okay. Same head heading can be given.
so here we will write in this column claps okay one two three four five claps are there okay how many one claps are there five so make one two three four five two claps six one two three four five six three claps three one two three four claps six one two three four five six five claps three one two three see here our pictograph is also ready i told you to put the heading so same heading can be given here heading can be given as clap and count okay you can give your own heading whichever is suitable i think this is the correct heading see here one equals to one symbol equals to one clap or use the same color okay this is the unit okay so like this first question can be done okay now look at question number two some persons who work on daily wages basis were interviewed here daily wages basis means daily earning okay one day's earning their wages in rupees are given below 80 70 90 first person is getting 80 second person is getting 70 third person 90 like this okay represent the above information in tabular form second pictograph form using one symbol for one person okay see here the question is asking tabular form means a table like this tabular form means a table like this but in the previous question it was asking using tally system represent the above information is tabular form so we use tally system okay so here no need to use tally system we'll make a table like this okay clear so let's start question number two <clears throat> so first of all we'll make a table okay I have already told you a heading is very much required you need to put the heading and unit needs to be shown while making a pictogram clear so first of all we'll make a table clear Okay. Here we'll write wages in rupees and number of persons. Clear? Clear? Now let's find out we'll uh, give the heading as daily daily wages clear now let's find out so how many 70 rupees are there 1 2 3 4 5 six seven okay 70 rupees so we will start with 70 rupees 70 seven persons are getting 70 rupees okay
now 80 rupees how many 80 rupees are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 80 rupees are also 7 okay now Ninety, twenty, eighty, ninety, hundred. Okay. Okay. Now, how many ninety rupees are there? One, <coughs> two, three, four. Ninety rupees are four. Now, hundred rupees. Hundred, one. Two only two person two now hundred ten is not there okay so we don't have much space so this is the tabular form okay clear now using the same table we'll make a pictograph the question is asking to make pictograph so this is the first part first part is done now I'll do second part this is question We'll make a pictograph. Here we have created table. Okay. So uh, how many 70 or uh, how many persons are getting 70 rupees? 7. So make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many uh, persons are getting 80 rupees? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many persons are getting 90 rupees? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And how many persons are getting 200 uh, rupees? 1, okay see here the pictograph is ready now there are few questions asked okay so let's read it one by one and answer it how many persons earn rupees 70 per day so here answer a is how many persons are earning seven persons okay B. How many persons earn rupees 100 per day? Two persons. Okay. Two persons are earning rupees 100 per day. How many fewer persons earn rupees 90 than rupees 80? 90 and 80. Just find out. Just do the comparison. 7 minus 4 is 3 persons okay now how many total number of persons were interviewed so total will add 7 plus 7 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 persons were interviewed okay so here we have done question number 1 and 2 and see all the questions are similar here question number three four five six seven all are similar so we'll do these questions in today's online class okay so till then thank you